you better make sure you don't miss any of those quick time events. So why do we hate quick time events? Who says we hate quick time events? Welcome into Quick Time Event Episode 9, brought to you by MiddleofNowhereGaming.com. I am Courtney Osborne, and today I am joined by Lou. Hey, everyone. And Miles. Hello, hello. I guess I should like maybe say your first, your last names when I say mine, or maybe the other way around. Yeah, you jerk. Just do all first names or something. I'm just so used to saying my name is Courtney Osborne. I don't know why. Huh. And then like should I. You, should there be an announcement that I'm back from the dead? Oh yeah. Well, I guess we should say that. Oh yeah. Uh, his his ass cancer is cured. Excuse yeah, me. Butt cancer. Yeah. We gathered the Mong team together, and we performed a resurrection spell, and we brought Lou back from the dead. I am a zombie, though. You are so, a zombie. Very weak. Yeah. That butt cancer, though. That butt cancer. So, uh, Lou, you want to talk him or walk them through what QTE is again? All right. So, just very briefly, quick t- uh, QTE is a quick time event. It is the topical timed podcast. We pick a topic of the week, and we talk about it to a timer. What's the timer set to today, Courtney? Today, we're going for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and what is the topic? Our topic is the month of October and its release schedule. Okay. Um, and uh, if you're listening to this on on this or on Friday or whatever first, we actually have two quick time events planned today. So we'll have another one, hopefully, if all goes as planned and the, the world doesn't end in the next 20 or 30 minutes. We'll have another one about uh, the Naughty Dog uh, movie schedule, how they're going to be making movies or whatever, or, or movies based off of their games. So look out for that also. All right, are you guys ready? Ready when sure. you are. The month of October. Ten minutes, go. Okay, so first of all, October originally was like the most packed month in history, right? Yeah. Awful. Awful, awful month. Awful. It was, it was going to hurt everyone's wallets really badly. Yeah, and there are people who argue that, you know, like, I, of course, they're not going to, I'm not going to get every game that month. You know, I'm not interested in all those games. There's no way they're competing. They absolutely are. There are a lot of gamers that won every game. But, uh, so we got a few big announcements this week, uh, in, in the form of delays. Um, but before we get into that, like, our overall opinion on delays and what they mean for the industry, I know we all are basically in agreement, but Lou, Miles, you want to refresh everyone how we feel? Uh, opinions are not always a bad thing. Normally, the people Opin- that are making these games, or excuse me, delays, pain, delays, my bad. Uh, delays are not always a bad thing. Normally, the people who are making these games know what the fuck they're doing, and they will delay a game if they think they need to be delayed. It makes it better most times. Yes, I agree. Um, but I mean, in the form of okay, so like, I guess if we take Dragon Age and we take Battlefield. Uh, those two, in my opinion, I believe, were delayed for completely different reasons. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Dragon Age was delayed a month to get the hell out of October. And yes. I feel like Battlefield Hardline was delayed until early 2015 because it just was not ready. was not ready at all. Though that might be biased uh, based off of what we think of Battlefield. Oh, yeah. And it very well could be. Um, but spoilers, I, if you don't know what we think, there's a QT on it. It's yep. awful. It, yeah, we had a QT all about Battlefield and the Destiny Alpha. So if you want to go back and listen, it's there. But uh, the QTE isn't awful. Battlefield is awful. I just want to clear that up. Yes. Yeah, the QTE is amazing because we're on it. But uh, yeah, I, don't, I just feel like okay. So Dragon Age was originally going to be coming out on October 7th, which was the same day as. Oh, let's see. It was going to be the same day as Alien Isolation, NBA 2K15, NBA Live 15, Drive Club, Project Spark, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. And that was like the busiest day of the month, busiest day of the year for big name releases. And so I was, I think that EA was like, ah, no, (laughs) we're going to delay. And it was probably a smart move because, I mean, you know, it would have gotten a few sales just because it's Battlefield, but, you know. Yeah. Now... So that you do think that it was a smart move for Dragon Age to move out? Uh, I do, because uh, I, mean, sure. uh, I feel like Dragon Age is a slightly smaller, you know, item, or not item, but... Uh, it's not it, Mass Effect. It, it's not Mass Effect, and it would have been competing with uh, quite a bit of things, and it's just, it, it would have been better to have its own day, so you can have Dragon Age Day, since, you know, you can just establish those now. Yeah. Lou, what are you saying? Um, I don't, I, I'm not sure... If it was the greatest idea, 
Um, it's still not on its own day, by the way. It's coming. It's coming out the same day as Far Cry Four. Yep. So they picked another just awful day to put it. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah, that's actually true. Uh, I, I don't know. I I think that out of the list of games, it was coming out the fourteenth, right? Uh, seventh of October. The seventh. Okay, it was coming out the seventh. I think out of all those games, I think the Bioware game would have been the one that won out. Um, I'm surprised it wasn't Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, or uh, Drive Club again. Yeah, uh, they, they dropped a month. Yeah, exactly. Like out of all of them, I think it was the biggest surprise that it was Dragon Age. I, I if I looked at everything, I would have been saying that that's the one that's going to stay. See, Lord, I. Sorry, go on. Go ahead. I was going to say Lords of the Fallen was my first prime pick of what was moving, and that didn't yet. See, um, I okay. I'm kind of in agreement with you that on the seventh, Bioware would have won out. It would have been Dragon Age being the winner, but uh, NBA because NBA would not compete with it. I just feel like those two would be separate separate sides. Like there, yeah, of course, there's gonna be people who want both games, so that's not a huge percentage. It was gonna be competing more with Alien, and it was gonna be uh, competing more with uh, Middle Earth. And uh, I've said all along that I thought that it was gonna be either Middle Earth. Or Dragon Age, because I felt like both of those games came out of nowhere and were going to be so big that they might need more time. And then after that, I said that uh, it might be Alien Isolation as well, you know, but and and now we've seen both Dragon Age drop and Middle Earth, but Middle Earth didn't drop back. It dropped or it came forward. So Middle Earth is actually coming up a week earlier. Do you think that was a smart move? Then on the 21st. What? What? When was it supposed to be originally? Middle Earth was also going to be on October 7th. And now it's on September 30th. Oh, okay. That was the one that broke this morning. Right. That, now it's releasing on the same day as Forza Horizon 2, or Forza Horizon 2, and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. I feel like, I feel like it was, I, it seems like it was a good move on, uh, uh, god dang it, Dragon Age and, uh, Shadows part. Well, because Dragon Age would have been would have been competing with Shadows, in my opinion. Yeah, which, they're similar, but not completely. Yeah, they're, not completely, but you know, if you're just looking for something fantasy, they're they're very similar in that regard. But I guess now that they've both moved, it's kind of a moot point. <laughs> yeah, well, it frees up that day a little bit more, and so now Alien Isolation is going to do way way better than it was originally going to do. Because mm-hmm. I think that was in direct competition because it was it's not fantasy. But it's sci-fi, and those can kind of be grouped together in a sense. Uh, the normally fans of one are fans of the other. Not always the case, but they, but it happens more often than not. So I I don't know, and I think I think Middle Earth is going to do uh, incredibly better by being in September, because one that gives them an, people another week for a paycheck. It gives them not having to buy as many games during that first two weeks of October. And they don't really have much competition at the end of September. They have Hyrule Warriors uh, a week before on Wii U. And that's basically it. They're not going to compete with Forza. They're not going to compete with uh, Persona either. So it's uh, also... Well, yeah. Go ahead. Go on. I'm, I'm taking a look right now at what's coming up right after Smash Bros. is coming out. But once again, that's not the same uh, kind of deal. Yeah, I think on the different consoles as well. Right. The biggest issue is it moves it closer to Destiny. Yes. Um, and that is the biggest issue of it. But it's still three weeks later. Right. So hopefully that's enough time that people are off the Destiny high. Or it could be a thing where the Destiny high builds and builds and it's it way worse. Yeah. yeah. Don't you dare. It could sputter out at the end. We don't know. And I know the way I've played it recently, I don't want to play anymore until it's released. And so I would be the same. I, I, you know, I could see myself playing it hardcore for two or three weeks. But by the time Middle Earth comes out, I will be ready to move on to a new game, a new adventure game. But because uh, I don't play games for very long. I want or I mean, I, you know, I play a lot, but I don't want to play them for a month at a time. I could it's... see. Uh, oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, go ahead. OK, I can see it capturing the Call of Duty fan base where initially it's the hardcore gamers. Yeah. Um, and then as it goes on, people invite people over their houses and they see them play and people go out and get PS4s, Xbox Ones, or just go get the games on whatever yeah. console. And three weeks later, it's way, way, way more popular um, than Could it be. was at launch. Well, we're off topic now. Yeah, now we are. But. Okay, so uh, what game or games 
do you still want to see but delayed in October or not delayed? Like, what game has to stay in October, and what game do you think could probably benefit from being delayed? Um, hmm. I okay. I am of the opinion that Sunset Overdrive could probably be delayed, and it's like, you know, it's it's hard. It's I don't know. It's I just think that October's too packed. I really do. I think the Sunset Overdrive would be good in November for some reason. But then again, it's it's like then it competes with Call of Duty and Master Chief Collection. You know, do you really want it in those weeks? Not really. Mm-hmm. Lords of the Fallen could probably benefit. Absolutely. Personally, I think Lords of the Fallen can just get like delayed into oblivion because I'm not excited for that game. I think the Evil Within could probably benefit a lot from saying early 2015. Because the Evil Within, there's not a whole lot of excitement for right now. And mm-hmm. there's been a lot of bad press about how it doesn't look like it's ready. And if they just go ahead and delay it three or four months and not release it in the busiest month of gaming history, you know, it could actually uh, find more sales that way. The one that I want delayed is Assassin's Creed Unity. It's not uh, going to be. No, it's way. not. There's no way in hell it's going to be delayed. Yeah. Um. I just I I want to break from Assassin's Creed, and when I say I want to break from Assassin's Creed, I mean I haven't played it since Brotherhood. Okay. Uh, <laughs> How many games in October are you planning on buying? Still, look at the list. I'm still going to get Alien. I'm still going to get Borderlands. I'm still going to get probably The Evil Within. Probably Evolve. Probably Lords of the Fallen, probably Assassin's Creed, and probably Sunset Overdrive. Uh, I'm just looking at uh, Middle Earth, uh, Evolve, and if I have an Xbox One by then, Sunset Overdrive. But if not, then that's not on the list. Middle Earth's not in October anymore. Oh, right, God, that... God dang it. I'm sorry. I was looking at the list and didn't think about it. I have seven games. Um, was that the timer? Yep, that was the timer. All right, let me just finish up with what I'm getting. I'm going to pick up Sunset Overdrive because by then I'm having the Xbox One. Yeah. Um, probably evolve if other people on the team have it. Oh yeah, see that's um, what I was going to do. I plan on getting it. Uh, I'm reviewing Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and Borderlands the pre-sequel. Like I drool over. <laughs> um, maybe maybe Alien Isolation. I don't know. I'm not good with horror games, and I'm not a big fan of sci-fi. But I really like what they're doing, and I do want to support them. Yeah. Okay. So that wraps up episode nine of Quick Time Event, brought to you by MiddleofDoorGaming.com. Um, hopefully we're going to be recording episode 10 right after this, so be on the lookout if, you are, if you've already listened to this one. Um, anything else to say before we get off? Uh, no? It's good to have Lou back. It I is missed good him. To, that resurrection spell, man. It's good times. I'm glad I we love found everyone. that. You love everyone. <laughs> yeah, not, not just you guys. Everyone listening. Everyone listening. Thank you. Um, so yeah, find us all on Twitter. You can find me at Osborne underscore 2009. You can find Lou at... Find me at Lou Cantaldi. And you can find Miles at... Furious milk. Monk, 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 monk.